Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are actually already through our admin deficit for this latest war which is kind of wild to be honest and we are cruising our way on through here. So all of these will be finishing up in... are all of them going to be in 1872? Not quite but they're mostly going to be next year. So we're going to have to deal with some rebels between now and then. It shouldn't be too bad though to be honest. So how many are we going to have this month one two three three we will have three so yeah all things considered it shouldn't be too bad we should be able to cruise through that's already done cool we should be able to cruise through this quite quickly so we'll head on over here there we go oh yo separatists done there oh there was that lag spike cool all good are we capping this back we're on our way over there so no problem. In the meantime, we're banking admin power. Of course, we're going to need... Okay, four revolts this month. We're going to need a decent amount more admin power. Because we're going to need to make full cores. But for the moment, this is fine. We can bank that up and be prepared for the next war. We can also raise up our stability if we feel like we need to. But for the moment, I honestly don't. I honestly don't feel like we need to. We'll continue to convert here just as quickly as we can. Only two revolts this month. One of them is irrelevant, and the other one is awkward. Okay. Where's our fleet that was over here? Oh yeah, it went over this way. That's right. Let's go ahead and use that fleet to bring these guys in. No problem. Tariffs on wool? Leave it be. What do we get? Diplomatic power. Not ideal, but it's okay. Excellent. No rebellions that month. Always great. And I want to come take a look at this. Yeah. Did I already queue this up? I feel like I did. Yeah, almost certainly I did. Cool. So we'll let that go for the moment. That looks great. And what do we have going on up over here? Well, we've got this fleet here that I want to come back over here. We've got Lendon Separatists. We have two revolts this month, it looks like. Yeah, no big deal. And this one we don't actually care about, so it's all good. Excellent. Separatist sentiment is whatever. No rebellions this month. Beautiful. So it's going to be 22 July that a lot of these finish up. We've got another like nine months of this before we really start dropping our overextension. That seems fine. I want to check in on our government reforms here. We don't quite have enough to expand our administration. Sad. Okay, two revolts this month. Miami separatists that we don't care about and Ndongan separatists that we do care about. Let's actually force march these guys. No reason not to. And then looking in at our state situation, we're going to need to make some states over here. I don't think we can yet, though. Yeah, not yet. Majapahit fabricated claims on us. That's ambitious. Well, that was a decent number of rebellions. Five this month. One of them is Aztec. We don't care. Kuskoan, we don't care. Maliseet, we don't care. Assyrian, that we do care about. And these guys. Yep. So only two of those rebellions were actually ours. No big deal. Excellent. No rebellions this month. Always great. But we did finish a conversion here. Let's get another one going. Oh, it popped in on this side. Hilarious. Let's get that going. And we just have a few more months here. Armenian Canadian revolutionaries up over this way. Only 5.9k. I don't care. I don't care about this either. They can deal with that. And so they shall. There's another conversion finishing. Always good. Now we can intervene in this. Which is interesting. I'm assuming Japan is losing this war. 
they are. I don't really want to interfere on the side of me. We did lose our colonial governor, and we have eerie separatists that we don't care about. So losing our colonial government, or colonial governor is fine. Diplomatic reputation, I think, is what we go for here. I don't even care about upgrading it necessarily. I didn't even check, though. Can we upgrade him? No, we can't. We can upgrade this guy if we wanted to. I guess we may as well. It's not a big deal, but it's fine. Okay, a uh, number of revolts here this month. Apparently we missed these guys. There we go. Cadoan Separatists over here. We don't care. Sinti Separatists. We can deal with those very easily. Swedish Separatists. Already dealt with. Bombay Separatists. Fine. And Pairi Separatists. No problem. I'm noticing that this is not capped back. Let's go ahead and grab that. Did we miss these guys? I guess we did. In we go. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to group these together. So we know that this should be at 500. We know that this should be at 120. It appears that we lost some ships on the way over here, which is not shocking. And let's bring this up to 1,000. There we go. Cool. So with that all underway, there's our cores coming in. Ethiopian Separatists down over here. That's quite possibly our final round of Separatists here. Mm, probably not. That's probably not our last round of Separatists, but it's going to get a lot thinner from here. Excellent. More cores are going to be finishing up shortly. There we go. Don't care about these Separatists. They are irrelevant to us. And we can see our provincial unrest just plummeting. Okay, we don't care about these. We're going to be finishing this up in November, and then this one will be in July 1873. The question is, do we wait that entire time? That is quite a question. I do want to hop into states and territories here. Now that we've finished up a bunch of these cores over this way, I want to just see... Yeah, we don't own that province, but that's part of a state that we do own. Okay, I want to see about this state here. Yeah, we can't make that just yet. Can we make this? Yes, we can. Consider it done. We'll core that. That is a full core now. And then we need to finish up our cores over this way. Zia Separatists? I don't care. And Kaski Separatists? I don't care about that either. We need to finish up all of these cores before we can make these states. So it's these three remaining cores here. We've got 432 admin power at this time. I don't care about this. Cool. So 10 February, 1 May, and then 1 July. So 1 July. Gotcha. Don't care and don't care. There's another core being done and a conversion. So we'll get that going. Excellent. And very soon it will be time to create another admin crisis. That's very clear. So that cannot be, be made into a state at this point, nor can this, surprisingly. It's unfortunate. This should be able to. Yes. So we'll do that, and we'll make those into full cores. Shawnee Separatist, I don't care. There's another conversion finishing. This will be able to be made into a state as soon as this core is done. Which it now is. Yaki Separatists, I don't care. That's fine. And we'll go ahead and make that into full course. Cool. So all we need now is this core. And that'll be great. We are wildly over our governing cap, of course. But that's fine. So looking at our provincial unrest here, it's quite low. We still have some rebel uprisings that will be within our territory. Cool. This is now cord. So we'll make that into a, a full territory. Or rather, into a full state. And then, do we have enough to core all of this? Yes, we do. Actually, no, we don't. Never mind. We need 52 admin power to core this. 
But we'll have that in just two months here. Excellent. So next month we'll have enough. We'll make that into a full core. I don't want to spend 100 admin power here. We'll take the autonomy, thanks. Okay, and then from here, what we want to do is we want to check in on reducing the governing cost of this. So, state houses, none. Town halls, none. Sad. These must already be full on buildings. That's fine. Yeah, they are for now. Hello, pause menu. Okay, so there's all of that done for the moment. Now we need to start thinking, what do we want to do? Ming would join this. Hang on. Hang on a moment. Okay, they're allied with Ming. Never mind. We could go back to this revolutionary T-Door idea. They're no longer allied with Japan. Or Ming. Thou call and dive yet. I don't think we need that. I think just this would be sufficient. So we've got Mashapa hit here. And we very well may want to bring in an additional unit to help out with this. So we've got that. Who else would we be in a war with here? Imarina, which of course is these guys over here and up here. We're, we're well positioned to deal with that. There are these peasants. I don't think we'll have a problem with that. So, Tidor in Australia, we can deal with that later. Who are these guys? Right. That's this this set, set up here. And then there's these guys. Sure. Honestly, I think once we move these in to deal with Majapahit, we'll be in a decent position here. Cool. So I think imperialism is the way to go here. And I think we just go ahead and declare this. We're basically ready to do it right now. Although, this is going to be potentially an issue. So I'm going to bring these guys over to here. And we'll position these up here. Cool. And what else are we going to need here? Well, we'll need stuff in places. And we'll figure that out when we know where we need it, right? I think that's going to be the idea here. But how much are we actually going to be able to take out of this? I think the answer is a lot. And our admin power is low right now. So this is likely going to create us another admin crisis. And that's okay. So, we're going to immediately start walking in here. And they can do what they want here. We're going to walk into here as well. Ah, I uh, missed that they had this bit here. So we're going to roll up a leader here, and we're going to move this guy into here, with these guys moving up. Cool. So for the moment, we're not focused too hard on this stuff over here, right? We'll get to that. Revolutionary T-Door is the last ones we want to attack in any sort of a major fashion at this moment. So we've arrived over here, and they're attacking up this way. Sounds good to me. We're just going to head up this direction, and these are individual island provinces. So that's fine. We did get a conversion done. And let's get another one going. There we go. Cool. So we control this province, and we're just going to stack these guys together for the time being. Our heir could die. I don't want to lose the stability here. I would rather lose prestige. We should get a new heir just for free. Just taking a look at some of these areas out over here. Yeah, that should be fine. 163, that's not great, but I guess it'll do. 
I'm going to let these guys lock in, and then we're going to walk up and attack them there. So these forces are going to move up here. Oh, we got our prestige back. That's nice. Our air is now careful. So minus aggressive expansion impact. That's nice. We win the battle out over here. And I want to immediately come in and attack these guys as well. Fantastic. So there's a conversion finishing. And we won this siege. So we'll come and attack here. There we go. This isn't going well. They got extra troops from Revolutionary Tidor. Okay. So we'll note that, and we'll retreat here. While simultaneously bringing in an extra 40k troops. Should be fine. Excellent. And we're going to come and attack these guys up here. How are things going on this front? We did win that fight. I'm going to send this force down here to fight them. We are nearing our cap on dip power. So we should spend that down a bit. In we go to our development. Cool. So we'll just spend that down a little bit like so. The dawn of a new era. We're not at war with these guys, are we? I don't think so. No. Okay. So that's good. And we do have our extra forces here. We're going to make our way over. We're winning this fight for the moment. Okay. We did indeed win that. And we're going to try to stack wipe them while simultaneously bringing these guys up and over. I don't care about these Separatists. That is not relevant. Although, I just realized I forgot to move in here. So we're going to put this leader in. Unforce march these guys attack here. And these guys are going to walk in and attack force marched. Excellent. Okay, that's held by Korea. Noted. I was hoping... Oh, we did get a stack wipe here. Beautiful. So we're going to do something kind of like this. There we go. And then these guys are going to head out over here. We won here, which was reasonably expected. Fantastic. So I'm definitely concerned about what's going on down here. We've only got 100k troops here, and I'm not going to fight that just now. We're going to need to bring in additional forces. We'll let them spread out a bit, and we'll just yield territory for time. These guys are currently free. Ah, uh, they've attacked out over here in Borneo. I'm not shocked about that, to be honest. Yeah, they're attacking Borneo. That's fine. We need to start moving a lot of troops around. Once this is done, we can do so. Okay, I don't care about this. I don't care about this. And that all seems fine. Cool. So this is a bit of an issue down here. We definitely need a lot more forces moved. And we can do so. We're just waiting on these guys at this point. Are we actually moving? You know, I don't think we're moving. Oh, these guys brought in a different fleet. That's kind of funny. I didn't realize they were waiting on that, but let's come on out here. I'm, I'm thinking that this is another fleet that's coming down here. Not that one, though. Okay, whatever. It's all good. We could use a second fleet here. So that'll be fine. We lost this battle. I don't care. Not relevant. Excellent. So we're going to move in these troops. I'm going to also get these three units stacked up here. We're going to move this fleet around. 
And we're going to bring in an additional bunch of units to come attack over here. Excellent. This is now occupied, so we're going to... I want to come in here. There we go. We're going to embark all three of these. And they are going to come down here. We'll embark these guys and then go and dock up over here. Excellent. And we'll embark both of these. And then come and dock here. And these will come deal with Borneo. So we've now got about 260,000 troops in theory here. And we're going to head in. With our overwhelming numbers. And look to fight these guys a bit. Our hopefully overwhelming numbers. <laughs> we'll see how overwhelming they really are down there. So we've arrived here and we will embark all three of these. This one didn't get embarked. There we go. And we'll come out over... Uh, we'll, we'll just come and land over here. It'll be fine. Excellent. So we're winning these battles now. And we'll take back these territories. There we go. With these guys landing here. Perfect. So we're at 15% war score here. We're not really attacking up over this way yet. We'll get there. So there are some of these that are actually a problem. Armenian, Canadian, Iroquois, Pakajan, and Korean Californian. Those are not problems. The Roman separatists are. So we'll get those dealt with. Our provincial unrest is still a little bit up there, but it's not too bad. Cool. So we will get this conversion going. There we go. I want to get Majapahit knocked out of this war. That is kind of our top priority for the moment. Getting these guys knocked out of the war would be a good priority to have as well. Okay. So, to be honest, we don't need three armies here on Borneo. I'm going to only leave one here. And we are going to go pick up this army with our fleet. Excellent. This is all under control now here. Let's try to make directly for the Majapahit capital. And let's see what ends up happening here. Okay. We can see that there's a decent amount of revolutionary Tidor troops over here. I don't really care too much about that. I am going to send these guys spread out a bit. We'll embark this force, and we're going to come on down over here. Cool. Cherokee, Shawnee, and who are these guys? Yeah, I don't care. Wonderful. So I'm taking a look at what's going on here, and they retreated. Looks good. We'll just continue moving on in. And these guys, I want to move one unit over in a moment. Okay. I don't care about this battle. We'll move these guys over and embark these three units. With their current goal being to come up here and knock these guys out of the war. That is their goal. These are, of course, conquering back Borneo. And we're looking to knock Majapahit out of this war as soon as we can. I don't think we care about any of those. Actually, maybe we do. No, that's just this up here. Sure. Looks good. This fort will fall very shortly. We can actually move forward here, which is a little shocking. We can't move out here as of right now because they have ships here. That's fine. For the moment, I'm not too concerned about that. I want these guys to land here. Excellent. So where's our second fleet at? It's right here. I want to move them over to here. So that we can control these straits. To some degree anyway. There we go. 
and we'll head up over here while these guys all stack up over here. I do want to make sure that we're force marching down over this way because this is potentially vulnerable. Cool. That should be fine. No problem whatsoever there. We're landing here and they'll be knocked out of the war quite soon. Sadly, it was not that month tick. We did just lose our advisor, which is a little bit rough. None of these are great. We're going to go for the plus three unless there's a... Actually, this guy will do. He is accepted culture, so that'll allow us to keep, out, keep up our earnings. That'll do for now. Cool. Okay, I'm going to send one of these up to here. While the rest, I'll pile in over here. Okay. So for the moment, that'll be fine. I want to take this because that will knock Mashapahit out of this war. I believe. Oh, wow. We still failed that roll. That's a little wild. Okay. We can convert this province. Let's go ahead and do so. Sicilian Separatists that we do need to worry about. The rest of these we probably don't. Yeah. No problem with either of those. Cool. One of these days we're going to succeed this roll. And it is that day. Perfect. So these guys are now officially out of the war. They're full annexed. And that's great. We can get that coring. And so we shall. Now we're going to want these guys to head up to Tondo. And that's okay. We'll get Tondo knocked out of this war. We're not too worried about Revolutionary Tidor right now. Oh, there is a little bit of Majapa hit down over here still. But there is, it is rather time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue spending our admin power. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Demi H, punching the microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.